Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be starting in with our Christmas content and I am so excited for Christmas in July because I have so many things that I have been wanting to share with you. So much that I filmed last year and didn't get a chance to put up for you guys yet. And so I'm really happy to get started because I love sharing with you things to bring you joy, especially around the holiday season. I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of videos this year. Some are going to be from my own home series and some are going to be from my Christmas tree design series that everyone loves so much. And today we're going to dive into the beloved hot chocolate of the Christmas season and how I set up my Christmas hot chocolate bar and some of my favorite tips, tricks, and also my favorite items to include on the magical hot chocolate bar. It's going to be a lot of fun guys, so let's get started. So in today's video, I really want to focus on a couple of really fun DIYs for your hot chocolate bar as well as a couple of tools that I would suggest to really make that experience a lot of fun. You know, sometimes we get caught up and we think that our hot chocolate bar has to be this kind of designer look and it has to be something, you know, Pinterest worthy. But you know guys, it's a little bit about the fun and utility of it as well. And I want to encourage you to try this in your own home because it's such a fun and special station and you can really add a couple of cute things to make this a fun place for you and your family to gather at. So this is going to be a two-part video. In the first part, I'm going to show you how I did the fun little setup. But in the second part, I'm going to point out some of the DIYs that I did in this setup portion. And I'll show you how I did those DIYs later on in the video. So make sure you stick around for that part just to get all the little tidbits. So after I went ahead and set up this coffee bar and cleared it out, I'm going to go ahead and bring in some festive Christmas lights. And this part is going to be just to really add that nice color and vibrancy to this space, that light that's going to give it a lot of warmth. And I want this area to feel magical for my children. After that, I'm going to add in a little bit of a peppermint garland just to give a little bit more of that festive touch and keep that candy cane theme. I got this really awesome coffee hot chocolate maker here and this thing is just wonderful it's from the nostalgic brand from Amazon I'll link in the description below because it makes awesome hot chocolate and I also just gonna set up a little space here for my K cups and a little stand just to add in some miniature marshmallows and those little touches on some trays that can just add in the layers to this coffee bar you know some of the treats that you might like to add in could be for example some dark chocolate or caramel maybe even some peppermint sticks and by adding in these little layers that's going to give you a lot of options and a lot of nice things to try here's the homemade uh, hot chocolate and that's going to be one of the DIYs I will show you in part two this nice little tray is a fun way to display just single hot chocolate pouches and then another little DIY coming in here with these really nice hot chocolate spoons. Uh, you'll see that also in the second half of the video. To kind of maximize the space, I've added a lot of shelving and layers and trays and things like that because I want to bring in as many special treats as possible. So by doing that, you give different height variations and can add a lot of visual interest to the space. This is another little DIY, these beautiful little chocolate spoons with the Disney characters. And just as another little side note, I made a really awesome DIY in the fall um, from Dollar Tree bins that would be really great for a hot chocolate bar as well. And so if you don't have things like risers and trays and things like that, go check that DIY out because I think it would be great for this option. Another fun little treat to add to a hot chocolate bar that can be really special are just little areas of nice chocolates. Just something you want to take with you with your hot chocolate. You can make homemade ones, stack them up in little mini cloches like the ones you can get from the Dollar Tree and it just adds that extra pizzazz. 
I love adding in some of these to-go cups. You can get these from places like TJ Maxx or online, and they are fun for when you're going out on a walk to look at Christmas lights or going to play in the snow. They can really be something fun and festive to take along with you. And a very festive and nice addition to your hot chocolate bar as well. couple another little ideas for you bringing in some of those flavor pumps is really nice in your hot chocolate I chose vanilla and caramel and all of these little toppings and different variations of flavors and things like that that you can add just add so much fun and dimension to your hot chocolate bar and make it so that it's fresh throughout the season because you can have a different flavor every day I love the way that this hot chocolate bar turned out because it has so much festive energy and it's so much fun for my children and I to enjoy during the holiday season. I hope that you gained some inspiration on some ideas of how you can incorporate these into your hot chocolate bar as well. Now for some of the fun little things that we made and created for the hot chocolate bar. And that's what we're going to talk about now, bringing you into the part two of this video on DIYs. Now the fun thing about these is these would make good gifts as well as uh, something to put on your hot chocolate bar so you can make some extra with that in mind. The first thing that we went ahead and made was some homemade hot chocolate and that was something that I had in mind because I didn't want to have quite so much sugar when my children were drinking this on the daily. So you just do this by adding powdered sugar, cocoa powder, and a protein source of some sort. So usually like a milk protein, I used a pea protein, and then you mix that together. And you can add anything else to that mixture as well. You can vary the sugar content level, you can put more in or less in based on how it tastes to you. And then you can add mini marshmallows, or you could put things in there like a little bit of a peppermint extract or even some cinnamon so you can really do a lot with this and you know I think if you would do this as a gift you could do a couple different variations and put them in beautiful little jars um, and and put them in like a little nice packaging for someone as a as a present and I think that would make a really nice presentation and so one of the things that I did is I bought this new hot chocolate machine and even though I have a Keurig where we can use the hot chocolate K-cups, I also got this frother and it was such a good investment. I am going to tell you what, it makes the best hot chocolate. I really recommend giving it a try. I'm using the homemade hot chocolate here in that machine and it is so decadent, the hot chocolate that it creates. I have a Keurig but we ended up using Using this most of the season because it frosts the milk and it warms the milk so you can either do a cold froth or a warm froth and it makes the hot chocolate so foamy and creamy it is really worth the investment it's not very expensive I can link that in the description for you below to check that out because it is my favorite part of the hot chocolate bar and the same for my children You can even make this with oat milk or regular milk depending on allergies in your family and so that's a great way to, to take a look at that. So adding in a couple little toppings here, a little couple marshmallows, one of our fancy little spoons that I'm going to get ready to show you how to make next can make a really fun presentation. Now look at all these nice treats that we added to this bar here and certainly all these nice treats would make very beautiful little presents as well. Look especially these hot chocolate bombs. These are actually really expensive in the store and so I was surprised how easy they are to make. You can just get your chocolate set up in a double boiler and if you don't have a double boiler you can just take two pots of varied sizes 
what you would do is just put boiling water in the bottom and your chocolate in the top. And you'll place them in these hot chocolate round silicone and I can link those down for you below. And you just smooth it around the edges to create a little bit of a, a melted chocolate bowl. You let those cool down and once you do that you can fill in some hot chocolate in the center or some marshmallows or anything like that. And you put them on a warm plate just to let those edges melt a little bit and then you can seal them together. And so once they get heated up on the edges you can just put that cap right on there and it's just a complete formed little hot chocolate ball. They're quite beautiful, they're shiny, they're pretty and so this is a really nice option for you if you would like to add them to your hot chocolate bar. Now those hot chocolate spoons are a huge hit because they are just those melted chocolate with beautiful assorted toppings. You can use rainbow marshmallows, chocolate marshmallows. I used on there as well some um, peppermint that was just crushed up which makes a really pretty presentation. And then we also made some of those with characters for more for children. And so if you add that white chocolate in those molds, you can use food coloring pens to color them a bit. And that turned out really cute as well. I ended up using those um, peppermint spoons or chocolate spoons on the back of those that I found at the Dollar Tree. And then um, they just popped out of that mold altogether. And so they were really a uh, cute little touch. And after you color them, I think they're so pretty and so vibrant and again would make a really nice gift. You know what you could do is just make a couple of variations of this and put it in a little basket and you know put a bow on there. Wouldn't that be lovely to receive as a present? Maybe with a nice cup, you know, nice giant mug of some sort that's you know appealing to the individual you're giving it to and of course you know everyone loves a homemade gift. At least I do. <laughs> I got these giant um, candy containers at the Dollar Tree and I thought that they made a really nice display as well for all those little homemade treats that we just made. And of course the homemade um, chocolate dipped Oreos, they add are a nice addition to add to your hot chocolate bar because they are something that's just a really decadent treat to eat with your hot chocolate. After I dipped these melted chocolate, my children went ahead and added sprinkles and then I put them in these little beautiful acrylic boxes. Um, they're just little candy boxes. I can link it in the description, put a bow on them and they are a really nice little truffle box. That can make a really nice treat in addition to your hot chocolate bar or your gift. I hope you guys are starting to get into that Christmas spirit feeling as well. Especially, I wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas in July and just to get that season started. I'm so excited, guys. I have so much content coming for you this year. I hope that you stick around and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.